Hi, I'm Sean, and this is the green screen tutorial. As you can see behind me, I'm in uh, the wonderful Hawaii. But unfortunately, it's not real. I've edited out this green screen, and after you watch this video, you should also know how to take a green screen, shoot in front of a green screen, edit it out, and put yourself pretty much anywhere you want. Okay, so to, dis to start this uh, green screen uh, edit, we have our uh, green screen image over here. So, we're going to get a go ahead and drop this down. And uh, move your green screen footage into the video 2 column. Never put it into the video 1, because your background is going to always have to be before your uh, actual video. So it's going to have to be down here in video 1. So, here's our background. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this down. Pull this all the way over, and match them up like this. So, right now you can't see the Hawaiian picture because it's below the video 2 footage. So, we're going to start by going to transform and crop. And we're going to drag it to the uh, green screen picture. We're going to crop a little bit off. Just, and you can kind of see the picture in behind it. 2%. Uh, we'll do a little bit on the right. Not much though. Okay. I want to change the motion a little bit also. Kind of move it over. Make it slightly larger like that. There, that way it fits kind of nicely into your video. Okay. Now this is where we start editing out the green screen. So, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to go to key, keying on the side. And here you can see a color key. You're going to go ahead and drag this over your green screen footage. And you're going to take the little dropper by the key color, and you're going to select a color here. I, I always like to start with dark, but you can start with light. It doesn't matter much. And you're going to go ahead and uh, drag this over. And change the tolerance in the feather. The feather kind of blends it together more, while the tolerance is what will edit it out. So, and then you're going to go ahead and color key again and put on a second layer. And this time select a slightly lighter color. Like so. This one you can change the edge thin like that. Again, drag the feather over to kind of blend it together. Sometimes you might even need a third color key. It just depends on how uh, well lit your scene is. Mine is not very lit. Very well lit. I'm going to say it now. It's pretty... The lighting's pretty bad. You usually want two things of lighting on either side of you. Uh, at least probably four lights. One up high, one kind of middle section there. And But... I'm working with two lights, so it's not the best, so you might need more keys, but, uh, you play it, and you can see there's a little bit of a problem with the face here. You can see kind of the light coming out, but as you can see, most of the green screen is edited out of the screen, and so you've successfully placed yourself in a different object like so so that's pretty much how you would uh, edit out a green screen just remember be sure your green screen is in video 2 and your uh, background image is in video 1 always start with your uh, cropping and be sure you crop it down so you get as little green screen as possible but still have you in the uh, image and then uh, always use color key put on different filters for different colors of your background depending on shading and uh, if you have good lighting and uh, a nice green screen you should be able to uh, edit out your green screen and put you wherever you want uh, thanks this was the green screen tutorial and I hope you enjoyed